during uh, during the OCI application process, whether it's for a new OCI card or renewal of an existing OCI card, you'll be required to scan your photograph and a signature. Probably you'll be putting a signature on a blank piece of paper and then scanning that. And then you are, you'll be required to prepare those images for upload. Uh, the images uh, are needed to be in JPEG format and they also need to adhere to certain dimensions. Uh, so uh, for the photograph, the width to height should be one is to one in proportion. The minimum for height is 300, 360 pixels. The maximum is 900 pixels. For the signature, the width to height should be three is to one in proportion. The minimum for height is 120 pixels and the max is 300 pixels. Each of these files can be a maximum of 200 KB. So uh, you can easily work on these requirements uh, by using Preview, which is available uh, on Mac. And very straightforward and simple to use Preview to fulfill these requirements. And let me show you how to do that. So let me just minimize this. At the outset, let me go to the top of my desktop, click on the magnifying glass and search for Preview. Open up Preview. So this is my scanned photograph and signature. I've scanned them both into one, one image and I've stored this away from the uh, into a folder called OCI Renewal Application. So let me just double click this to open it in Preview. So there we are with the file. So I had scanned the photograph, I placed the photograph on the scanner bed and I put a signature on a blank piece of paper and then attached it on top and then scanned. So both of this came up in one time. Um, maybe you have scanned your photograph and image separately, it doesn't matter. You can just repeat the steps I'm showing you once for each of your files and uh, you'll be okay. So Preview provides you a crosshair to make a selection rectangle so I'll just place it on the upper left and start so as I start you know it's, it's showing me a selection rectangle let me work on the height first so let me just span the photograph in such a way that it just borders the photograph right so as if you see now my height is 380 my width is 51 so let me just let it go so my height is 380 so all I need to do now is work on the width so I can place my cursor on, on the right side of this rectangle and move it around till I reach 380. Now oh, I got 3. There we are. I'm at 380 now. So you may have to just play around a little bit to make sure that you got the right dimension. Now, now that I got this bounding selection, I can just move this window around. So my photograph is right in the center. So once I do that, I can go to edit, copy. So the selection is in the clipboard now. So then I can go to preview file and new from clipboard. So the Clipboard contents are copied onto a new instance of preview onto the canvas. So actually I can really save this image right away. But uh, just to make a validation, I can go to tools and show inspector. Now it's showing me that uh, my image size is 380 pixel by 380 pixel, uh, which is one is to one portion. So it's fulfilling that requirement. Uh, the second requirement is the minimum height has to be 360. I'm at 380. So that requirement is getting fulfilled as well. So everything is good to go. I just need to go say file, save, and uh, you photo for OCI. And then, so if you see, go to the bottom, the format is PNG because that's what is the default which comes up with the preview. So I can click on this drop down and select JPEG. Uh, and uh, I can see that the file size is 25 KB. So I'll increase the quality to the best possible file size increases to 82 KB. 82 is still much below the 200 KB, uh, which is the max. So I'm very, I'm good to go here. I can just save it and fulfill all the requirements. So I save. So I'm done with the photograph. Now I'll work in the, with the signature in a similar manner with a small twist here. Uh, 
So let me show you. So let me start with somewhere in the upper left here. And once again, I'll work on the height until I reach a height which is perf which looks good. So let me leave it alone. My height here is 165. So once I notice that, right? So it's 165. So height is 165. The width has to be three times 165. So the one good way to make sure that you're precise about it is to open up a calculator. So go back to the magnifying glass, calculator, calculator, open up calculator, then 165 multiplied by three comes to 495. So all I need to do now is move this uh, width around until I get 495, right? So I'm, once again, I'm going to move it a few times get it right got it right now I can just uh, move this uh, rectangular selection so the signature is right in the center. Once having done that, I can go to preview menu, go to edit, copy. So my selections in the clipboard. Now I can open a new instance of preview saying new from clipboard. So the signature is right uh, in the middle of the canvas in the new instance of preview. I can actually save this away right away but uh, let me just uh, validate that all my requirements are fulfilled. I can go to tools, show inspector. So you can see my height is 165 multiplied by three is my width 495. So three is to one. So that requirement is fulfilled. Uh, I told you that uh, the minimum has to be 120 pixel height for the height. I'm at 165 pixels. So that second requirement is fulfilled as well. I want to share a small tip with you here. So, Let's say that your uh, your signature is very small, right? And then you made a bounding rectangle like this, and then you came to like a hundred pixel as a height, right? So that is not fulfilling the minimum requirement. So one quick way to you can adjust in such a case is to go use the tools option here, and then say adjust size, and you can just change the height here. So let's say you are in hundred. So your width was 300, so your signature is very small, so you are at 100 height. Uh, you can easily increase it to 120 so that you are fulfilling the minimum requirement and the width also gets adjusted, uh, you know, proportionately. So you can use this option tools and adjust size to make sure you are fulfilling that requirement. So let me just bring it back to 165 where it was before. Right, so I'm good to go here, say okay, All right? Yeah, and then file, yeah. And also the same way, right? So if you if your signature was too huge and when you made a bounding rectangle like this, uh, this height was more than nine, uh, more than 900, right? Sorry, more than 300 pixels. Uh, you can bring it under 300 pixels by just changing that number. So it will work both ways when your signature is very small or when your signature is pretty big and you want to uh, bring it down to fulfill your requirement. So having shared with you that, I can now save this file, save, right? And then miniature for OCI. So I'll go down to format, choose JPEG, right? And now I can choose the best uh, quality and file size is 28 KB, still under the 200 KB limit. So everything is good. All my requirements are fulfilled. I can just save this and I'm good with the signature also. So, so in summary, I, I showed you how to use preview to work on your photograph and signature images and crop them into the right dimension and uh, also have the height to width uh, proportionate requirement to be fulfilled. Uh, as you saw, this is pretty straightforward. I'm sure many of you already know how to use preview. It's pretty intuitive, but I thought I'll just put out a video uh, in case it's going to be useful for some of you. 
So, so I'll see you soon in another video. Until then, have a good one and goodbye.